I'm in the midst of change. Between here, there, and everywhere, the dreams allow us to meet. I had my heart placed perfectly, so you wouldn't have a chance to break me. I felt different when I was with you. Like I could breathe underwater, but I'm tired of that forever swim in that storm. It just was the way you said goodbye. You got your hands while we're on fire. And all the things that we went through, all the things that we didn't do, they have no matter. And the beauty of rotten and its exquisite dirty taste is how I knew you needed my decaying heart. As dire as the last quiver of death, you were like a candle, wretched in my composition, half melted inside the blackness of coffee. A Mona Lisa grin bruised inside her parts of where I fit so good. My beard tasted like clouds, and I had a whiskey smile. She had premeditated kisses of gin. Or sitting on the floor of the kitchen is exactly where I used to fit in. But as always, the scary part's known that the mornings will live on. And regardless of how you know that I was much more than my worst moments. So we killed all the darlings. And you and me, we teetered on the edge of the razor. And you slid your print gently to avoid the sharp contradictions that measure my vast sky eyes. And I keep the curtains drawn in again as I sketch of the image of yesterday's dream and the memes and the other personal fucking things. And a broken record player in my head waltzes and it dips with sudden ambition. Two steps forward, three steps back to that loneliness of that wallflower that blooms underneath the stones and left behind the brick walls. These stones were once friends, and they would roll together, and they would skip over ripples of wishes that echoed laughter, ricocheting in the bellies of dewdrops, and they'd drip, and they'd drip some more. And their eyes, they continue to swell. My chauvinistic clench followed my stretch of my yawn that carries the same caress of an evening bath. And I tell myself until my words purge the appetite of my silence, and I convince. I tell myself that I'm worth that feather touch and the warm plateaus of a chest that loves only me. This is where cowboys drew their guns and the Indians sharpened their stones to defend it. 